Hello and welcome, I'm Christos Harrison. Today I want to speak about the mind and its two parts, the conscious and the subconscious mind. One of the best ways to describe how the mind is when it comes to the conscious and the subconscious is to look at their traditional iceberg representation. All we see is that the tip of the iceberg is just above the level of the water and below it, the rest of the iceberg, the majority of it, is the subconscious. A while back, I read an article about people that go kayaking in places like Greenland and Newfoundland where there are icebergs. What they're told is that they're meant to stay twice as far away from the iceberg as the iceberg is tall. One of the biggest dangers is that if you do get close to the iceberg, sometimes pieces break up beneath the waterline that you don't see and therefore you can't move away from so quickly. So you get these little bits of ice that are coming up from underneath the water and may cause injury. So they're told to stay away. The iceberg metaphor is a really good way to explain how we live our lives. The majority of our day, we actually spend it in our subconscious because that's where our usual thinking, our normal habits, the usual things that we do actually reside. Whereas when we come across a problem that we haven't dealt with, a bit of a challenge that's something completely new, we have to start really, really thinking how to solve it. And that's where we go into the conscious mind because that is the solving part of us. Now, initially that may sound like a bad thing, but it actually isn't. If you think about every time you get in the car and you're gonna put your seatbelt on and then you've gotta start the car, you've gotta put it into gear. If it's a manual and still put it into gear if it's an automatic, you still have to change the gears every now and then. When we start learning, we look at the gears to figure out where to put the stick. But after a while, we get into the habit to know exactly where it goes. That becomes a physical thing as well. It's not just mental, but it becomes physical. If we had to do that all the time, our lives would become very, very insane. It would become extremely difficult because we would have to do the same thing again and again. It would be like relearning every day. So our mind takes over, our subconscious takes over, and off we go. Now the bad thing is, at the same time, we do have those habits and we do have that usual thinking. And just like the iceberg that every now and then something breaks off from underneath and floats to the top, some of those beliefs and fears will stop us from moving ahead or doing something because all of a sudden something is risen. We may not recognize it, and that's the thing, because we're not aware of it. And what tends to happen is that we stop moving forward, we stay where we are, and we stay within our comfort zone. So what has happened for us to move forward? We have to look at our programming, our mental programming, what's in our subconscious. We have to look at the way that we think and our usual thinking. We have to look at our habits and we have to look at our beliefs, whether they do stand the test of time. How do we go about that? Well, we've got to look at the habits that we have and the beliefs that we have and we write them down. We say, well, these are the beliefs that I've got and these are the habits that I have and this is the way that I usually think. And then you ask yourself, is that really serving me? And if it's not, if you find something that's not serving you, then write down the opposite and you define it. What is the opposite? So for example, if it's procrastination, then why am I procrastinating? Is it because I don't have a structure? Is it because I don't have a strategy? Or is it because I fear going forward? Whatever it is, you need to figure it out. And the only way to overcome this is through action and then repetition. So you don't just do it once, you do it again and again and again. Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely Friday and have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye.